these valuable skills that our students need, all I do is spend a few hours with an existing curriculum. It's fun, and they want you. Go for it. <laughs> It's at home in the valley, a warehouse full of rugs. Too many rugs, way too many rugs. It's time for a sale. Save on thousands of rugs in stock. Take one home today. Modern, traditional, shag, solids, and textures, all at low, low prices. Roll runners for stairs and hallways, any length you need. Since 1979, at home in the valley, 16531 Satakoy Street, Van Nuys, 818-780-4663, online at athomeinthevalley.com. Now at five, tragedy in Texas. Eight people are dead, seven more badly injured after a gunman opened a fire at an outlet mall. Pencils are down and the signs are up. Hollywood is left unscripted as the writer's strike continues. And the Lakers blow out the Warriors in game three at home. They now lead the series two to one. Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News. And a good Sunday morning. It's now 5 a.m. I'm Mark Cotarobles. And I'm Christiane Cordero. Irene Cruz has the morning off. We are here, though, with Tony Cabrera to take a look at the weather this morning. It's going to be a nice day. Yesterday was nice, right? You enjoyed that? Yeah. We did. Today will be a little bit warmer. Great. Some sunshine. Good. Bringing yeah. gifts on a Sunday morning. We have gift gifts for you. Yes. Good way to start. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good morning, everybody. Taking a look outside, our temperatures are on the chilly side. 55 in Long Beach. Not too bad, but later this afternoon, you're really going to enjoy it. 56 over Irvine down in Orange County as we look at the spectrum. Here's a look at our temperatures throughout the day. Downtown LA starting in the 50s, then 69 degrees by lunchtime, hitting about 70 degrees. So, yeah, a little bit warmer compared to yesterday in that sunshine coming out orange afternoon and then the high desert 51 degrees at 7 a.m. and then warming up to about 72 degrees later today. Now we are talking about some cooler temperatures that are coming a chance of some drizzle or light rain in the middle of the week and then we have a real big warm up that we're going to be talking about with some areas reaching 90 other areas reaching into the 80s. We haven't seen that in a couple of weeks. So we're gonna be talking about that in a couple of minutes along with your seven day forecast. So Mark and Christian, I'll send it back to you for now. It will be well received. Tony, thank you. In the meantime, we are learning some new details this morning following another deadly mass shooting, this time at a mall in Allen, Texas. Eight people are confirmed dead, seven more are injured. The gunman is also dead as authorities are looking for answers. ABC's Melissa Adon is live in Allen with the latest. Hi, Melissa. Uh, Christian, Mark, this morning we are dealing with yet another mass shooting and it is just so disappointing here. The details that we're getting from the local hospital, they tell us that their youngest victim is five years old. Their victims range from ages five to 61 years old as today authorities work to just figure out everything that led up to this. The sound of gunfire disrupting a peaceful day at a shopping outlet outside of Dallas, Texas, Saturday afternoon. We got shots fired at the other one. We got people running. The shooting happened around 3.30 p.m. local time. Our officer was at Allen Premium Outlets on an unrelated call. He heard gunshots, located the gunshot, located the shooter, neutralized the shooter. We believe at this point that the shooter acted alone. The outdoor shopping area packed with hundreds of shoppers on what was a sunny, warm day. Cole Korchak was there with his mother when he heard the shooting. There's this guy dressed in all black, wearing a vest, has an assault rifle, and he's just shooting at people. Eber Romero was there too and saw some of the victims. He's, uh, people, you know, some people are injured, they're really bad, some dead, bodies. The shooters keep all the way uh, around. Like probably five, ten stores, you know, they keep shooting because the like glass broken and everything. Many shoppers say they ran inside stores to hide. Pop, 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 pop. And we saw sparks flying like it was right in front of us. So we just ran into the Converse store. They locked the door. We uh, all hunkered down in the back. We're all freaking out. We're like, what's going on? What's going on? And I had, I had to go back to the front, lock the door. That's when I saw, like, cops all coming in. Air, helicopters was coming in. Multiple agencies responded, including the FBI.